In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an aligned block of text in Photoshop. Hey everyone, my name is Justin, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use rulers and guidelines in Photoshop to align and center your text into a block. So I'm going to go ahead and open a new canvas to demonstrate this on, and I'm just going to make it an 800 by 800 pixel square canvas with a black background. Now, the first thing you want to do is make sure you have rulers and guidelines turned on. So head over to view and make sure rulers is checked. So now you'll see this little ruler pop up on the left and top side of your canvas. You can use this to click and drag out different guidelines that'll show up like so, but I'm not going to do that. There's actually an easier way. So I'm going to go ahead and undo those. And if you actually head over to view new guide layout, we can create all of the rulers symmetrically and at once. So we'll go ahead and create a custom layout and we'll check columns and rows and we'll make one column and one row. Now for the margin, you could squeeze it in as much as you want, but I'm going to use half an inch. If you wanted more, you could use more. So I'll use half an inch on the top left, bottom and right to create a perfect square. Of course, you can customize these to align the text however you want. So let's go ahead and hit OK and you'll see the guidelines pop up. If you don't see any rulers popping up, make sure that your extras are turned on. As you can see, if I uncheck extras, I won't see any of them. So I'll use the Command H shortcut to bring them back. And you can also toggle the rulers with Command R. So now that I have my guidelines set up, I want to start placing my text. So I'll go ahead and grab my text tool. I'm also going to go ahead and open my character panel, which is under Window Character or it's this little button right here. This is a handy little panel that allows you to adjust things like the font size and the tracking, which is gonna be really useful when, when it comes to squeezing and adjusting the text to fit into this square. Another thing to pay attention to is you wanna use a solid and blocky font. Something like Helvetica will work perfectly, but try to avoid something that's curly or handwritten. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay down my first word here. So I'll write out Photoshop. And as you can see, it's already a pretty good size and it fits pretty well in there. So I can just grab my move tool and place it within the guidelines. And then if I want to create some minor size adjustments, I can always go to edit, free transform and hold shift. And I can make it a little bigger or smaller so that it fits perfectly. So there we go, Photoshop fits perfectly, but as we know, all the words don't have the same amount of letters, so how are we gonna make it work? I like to do each uh, word on its own layer rather than all at once. So now we're gonna write out the next word. So I'll click and I'll write out tutorial. So as you can see, tutorial is a shorter word than Photoshop, so it doesn't fill up all the space. Now there's a few things we can do to fix this. So if I double click on my layer to highlight everything, I can adjust what's called the tracking. And you see that right here with this VA little symbol. And if I hit the up arrow key, I can adjust the tracking by 20 pixels at a time. And that adjusts how spaced out or shrunken in it is. So I can adjust the tracking a bit and I can also adjust the size to fill in the gaps. Now remember, you wanna keep things in mind like the letter L and the letter P. So even though it's technically within the guidelines, you could do some tweaking so that it visually looks better, like the L and the P connecting. And the next thing I wanna write is how to. So I'll go ahead and write out how to. And what I'll do for this one is actually turn down the tracking. And if you don't wanna do 20 at a time, you can always type in an integer like I could do negative 75 rather than doing 20 at a time. And then for this one, I'm going to go ahead and increase the size a bit. And then I'll grab my move tool and I'll space it back out. So for this last bit, instead of increasing the size, I'll just hit command T or go to edit free transform. And then I'll hit shift and I'll fill it in like so. All right, lastly, I'm gonna go ahead and write out the word text. 
So this is the one that I want to be kind of bigger and bolder. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the tracking all the way down till the text is bunched right up next to each other. And then I'm going to turn the, the size up as much as I can. And I'm going to fit it in here. Now, as you can see, I do need to fill in the space a little bit. So I am going to have to spread the tracking out a bit. But I'm going to go ahead and try to work the size as much as possible. You could always go back and adjust other words. Like I could go ahead and go back to align and shrink it down a little bit and space it out. This way I can make text a little bigger still. And then I just have a little bit to fill in so I'll adjust the tracking there. And there you go. So now if you want to view how everything looks without the guidelines, you could just hit Command H or go to View and turn off Extras. And you can see we have our aligned square of text. Now if I wanted to drag this into a different project, I could just select my top layer, hold Shift, and then select my first layer to have them all together. And then I could just either group them together by selecting this new group button and then drag them onto a new canvas or I could convert them all into a smart object and have them all together and then if I would double click it I'd be able to see everything here. But at this point I can drag it around wherever I want. I can also free transform it however I want and it'll still retain its quality because these are all vector text layers. And I can drag it onto whatever new canvas you want, like what you'll see in the custom thumbnail for this video. So hopefully this tutorial gives you guys a better idea on how to create an aligned block of text in Photoshop, and you guys can use it on your own projects in the future. If you did enjoy this tutorial, make sure you subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for future videos. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below and I'll make sure to get back to you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.